Wanna draw and animate in Blender? Let's use Grease Pencil and make it happen in 3 minutes. Let's go! Open Blender, select 2D animation, boom! You have everything you need already. Start with a sketch. Super simple. Over here, in the brush settings, pick your brush, stroke material, adjust the size, opacity and tablet sensitivity. If a stroke looks weird, use the sculpt mode to adjust it. Sweet! Now do that again, but better. Layers are your friend, so keep everything organized. Frog on one layer, background on another. That way, you can tweak stuff later. Now let's add color. No need to overcomplicate the background, just paint it like you normally would. Say again? Parallax with projection mapping? Now that's some next level stuff. Let's save it for another time. For the frog, two options. First, use many layers for each fill color or use one but change the paint mode. You decide. Use the fill tool, seriously, it's the best. Modifiers are where the magic happens. Add noise modifier to give the frog's lines a bit of wobble, makes it look hand-drawn, less static. You can also mess with thickness to change the line weight or tint to adjust the color subtly with modifiers. Let's make it move, shall we? Enable auto keyframe and animate the blinking and puffing up. Don't forget to turn on onion skinning so you can see your past and future. Jump into the dop sheet to fine tune those keyframes. Easy, right? Let's make that background grass sway in the wind without drawing every frame. Just set two keyframes for the start and end of the motion and use interpolate sequence to fill in the frames between them. Blender handles the in-betweens for you. Look at that smooth and fluid animation with minimal effort. Keep in mind, it works only if you have the same strokes but modified in edit or sculpt modes. But that won't stop us, right? Let's add some effects. Add that soft ghibli glow and the rim light to the frog. Then blur the background element slightly to create a sense of depth. You've now got a ghibli style shot ready for action. As a cherry on top, let's throw in some camera movement. It's a 3D space after all, so why not make it dynamic? And there you have it. Don't just take my word for it, grab the source file and see the magic yourself. Next, we are going all out. Animate your illustration and bring it to another level with all that Blender wizardry. You need to see this. Psst, press subscribe.